Let's see how we can enable remote desktop administration mode in Windows Server 2016. So let's go to uh, DC01, and this is a virtual machine, but that's okay. It's going to work out great. Where you're going to right click on our start button and go to control panel. And remote desktop administration mode basically allows two users with administrator access uh, as far as you know being a member of the administrator's group for the local computer or in Active Directory domain. And it allows those two users to be able to remote in to the server without being physically in front of it using the remote desktop program. The other option is to install the remote desktop application services, which we used to call terminal server. Um, but uh, that is not what this video is about. We're just talking about having administrators being able to connect to it. And then we're going to demonstrate it. So we need to go to the system icon in our control panel on our Windows server. And from here, we're going to click on remote settings. And then we're going to check allow remote connections to this computer. So uh, we can either uncheck or, or leave uh, this box checked for allow connections from uh, the network level authentication. So the difference is, is if you uncheck it, it means you can log into the server from a non-domain joined computer. If you leave it checked, it means only computers that are joined to the domain can access this server from the network. So the safer of the two would be to leave that checked. Now let's click on select users. So by default, the administrator already has access, but let's say you want to add some additional people. So we'll just go ahead and add in some additional people that we want to. We'll click OK, and now this person can also access. So when we're done, we'll just go ahead and click Apply and OK. Now we also need to make sure that on the firewall, that remote desktop is also going to be working properly. So we're going to go back to Control Panel. We'll just choose Large Icons and we'll go down to where it says Windows Firewall. We'll go to Advanced Settings and Inbound Rules. From here, we'll just go ahead and select any rule and then type the letter R so it takes us down to the R's. And the first one that comes up is Remote Desktop. And we can see Remote Desktop, User Mode is enabled. So make sure all three of these are enabled, and if they're not, you can just right-click on them and choose Enable. So you can see if I right-click on this rule, for instance, it now has a green check mark. So the three remote desktop rules, go ahead, right-click and enable those, and then you know the firewall is going to work. So sometimes this doesn't happen automatically, which is why you have to manually do that. All right, so now we're going to go to our Windows 10 computer. So let's go over to that, and we're going to open up Remote Desktop. So we can go to the search box, type in Remote, desktop. Or if you want to do a shortcut, you can just right click and choose run and type in MSTSC. So either way, I'll get you there. I like that one because it's more, uh, I can get there more quickly. All right. So from here, we're going to put in the computer name. We know it's called DC01. Go ahead and click connect. And now we're getting prompted for username and password. By default, it's going to put in the administrator because that's who we're logged in as, but it may try to, to use different credentials if you are logged in as someone else. I'll go ahead and put in our password. And now from our client computer, we're connecting remotely to our server. And we can see our server is now coming up. And you see the blue bar at the top, and that gives you some information, such as the strength of the signal. You can pin this bar. So it always shows up, or you can make it so it hides when you click away from it. You can also minimize the connection. You can make it a little smaller if you want, or you can maximize it. We'll just go ahead and maximize it back out again. And now we can see the whole thing, which is nice because it gives you a full screen. So I'll just go ahead and minimize this just to show you what it looks like. We minimize it, and now we're back to Windows 10, and we see the icon down in the bottom of the screen, and we come back up. Now we can click the X at the top. That will leave our session open, uh, and any programs that are running will continue to stay open. Or we can go down and right-click on the Start button and choose Sign Out, which is what used to be what we call Log Out. So we sign out, and then any open programs will be closed. So either way, you can get out of Remote Desktop by clicking the X or signing out, but the uh, clicking the X just leaves everything open. 
So we can do the same thing on the Windows 10 computer. It works exact same way, um, but you have to have at least be, you have to be on Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise in order to get that to work. So that's how we enable remote desktop administration mode in Windows Server 2016.